Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase Hot Wheels Car Culture Autostross. I hope I said that right. Autostross, it uh, basically means highway or roadway, kind of the idea of driving. I think it really plays into, uh, you know, the joy of driving in Europe, hence the European models, new and old. It's a fantastic mix. It is the third to the last mix of 2022. We still got a ways to go, but we got to get to it because uh, there's a lot here that I want to cover from this mix. First off, the artwork is tremendous. There is an artist who does it. I think it's 808, 803. I'm going to put a link to his Instagram down below in the comments because this artwork is tremendous. Julian Coyles, who does all the art, he manages this. Um, and uh, this was a collaboration to get this artwork done. It is amazing. I'm going to move the uh, new casting, the Volvo 142 GL out of the way. We'll do that last. And let's focus on these. But first, what we got to do, there is one disaster here. We got to get it out of the way. So I'm going to put this here. Mattel sent these, by the way, which means they're imminent to uh, appear in stores. Uh, we got to talk about this Lamborghini Euros. I like the Lamborghini Euros. I think it's a very, very cool car. There is the artwork. Focus on that because it is really, really nice. Um, here's the back. There is the, uh, the uh, what you need in order to find, what is it, the UP, uh, whatever, um, if you're looking for it. But I don't know what's going on here. And the reason I don't know what's going on here is because I like the Lamborghini Euros, but there's two different castings. They did the concept earlier but I'm going to show you actually, it says Lamborghini Euros on it. So it doesn't say concept, but they did the Euros concept back in 2014. You can see on the, uh, on the base of the car, but then they did a little bit later, the actual Euros, which is a pretty nice casting to be honest. And I'm assuming, I'll tell you why I think they use this, but they went with the concept as opposed here. I'll do it this way. They went with the concept as opposed to the real Euros casting, like the actual, you know, the replica of the actual Euros. And I'm not entirely sure why. Here's my theory. I don't know. I haven't asked. Um, my theory is that they don't, they didn't have the casting. And they, maybe the tool for the Euros is somewhere else and being used for something, but they weren't able to get the tool to the factory that does the premium. And so they had to modify the concept to do this here to me do something else do a different lamborghini there's plenty of lamborghini castings they could have used but i mean I'd, i'm thrilled to see a euros in premium but this concept is so different and trying to pull to pull it off as a euros um i hope i'm saying that right but as a euros car i just don't know i just is it a disaster no it's not a disaster i shouldn't say that but it's like i don't know it's just, it's a bit disappointing. I know a lot of you share that same feeling. Wheels on this are cool. Uh, you, uh, you customizers are going to love having these deep dish five, these big deep dish five spokes. So buy them up for that because that'll be good. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just get that one out of the way. All right, let's go to, I'm not doing it in any numerical order, but this is number five of five. It is the Alpine A110. Um, usually they put the new cast. I don't know why the Volvo didn't be the, isn't the number five here, but, um, but they went with the Alpine. It is the first time it's premium. This was re, uh, released in basic a couple of years ago. Uh, this is great and racing deco fully complete wraps around from the, from the sides to the top black 10 spoke rims, which looks very cool. And this is a very European car. Um, a lot of us, you know, had to learn about it. It's kind of the modern take on the classic Alpine and it is I think it's a really, really well done casting. Now to see it in premium in this very complete uh, deco is really cool. So that one, we'll put that out of the way too. All right, let's go to the 72 Mercedes-Benz 280 SEL 4.5. Art on this is amazing. Now this is a casting. Let's get to this casting. I've brought out the previous two, not to be confused with the red pig that we've seen three times, once in red and yellow and racing livery and once in silver and Boulevard. But this is, well, actually, that's the second version. Here's the first version. Showed up in Modern Classics a couple of years ago, right? The 280 SEL. Just this, sits low, it's long. It looks slow, but it looks awesome. And it should be slow. I mean, the way this kind of car is. Just love that they use the Steelys on the first one. So this black one was very, very cool. I was so excited. I think it ended up winning Premium Model of the Year on the Lamley Awards that year. So we had the black version. Then we had this uh, two-pack version, 
which was a different take, right? And silver with the red interior and the 10 spoke wheels, which I like. I like that kind of modern updated take on it, um, which is a nice way of doing it. Now we go back to the classic again, our third version, also in a stock look. And this one wins the color contest just love the olive green here that is a color you've seen on these mercedes the only thing is you wish they could build wheels that were those classic like hubs hub mercedes wheels you know what i'm talking about they were this color with the mercedes emblem in chrome and you know that's what they're trying to replicate here the best they can they've done that with the uh, with the deeper steely wheels and it looks fantastic it looks really really good um considering they're not going to you know do actual custom wheels unless it's the uh, what elite 64 line that they're doing that for but I love the color here. It's hard to beat this one. The Volvo is going to beat it in the best of this, uh, of this mix. But this thing is fantastic. And this collection of these three Mercedes is really forming to be something special. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Next one, BMW M3, the E46. We've seen this quite a bit. And I love that we're getting a nice, clean version in red with the chrome 10 spokes. I actually brought out the, I think I've got every version here. I think I do. Started in Fast and Furious, not to be confused with the RLC with the opening hood. Um, but this one started in Fast and Furious in white with these kind of teal colored rims to replicate the Fast and Furious model. Very, very cool. Then we saw, it was this Deutschland design, the first mix of Deutschland design in blue with the black rim. So there's your first, uh, well, I guess the white version too. The rims make it to look a little less stock, right? But this one looks really cool with the black rims, black interior, the window trim in black. And then Eibach from Team Transport. We definitely have companion pieces here, right, with the new one from, from Autostross. But this Eibach version is very cool um, from Team Transport. And then probably the coolest one was from the BMW diorama set. This one was awesome in the BMW uh, M livery with the number three. Obviously, the, uh, the 5 Series, the M5, is the one that's the real star in that. But this one's really cool, too. We're actually going to see one in a very similar BMW uh, racing deco from uh, the Mexico Convention. And that one's out, and I think it was already went on sale. As soon as I get that, I'll show it. Maybe we'll put all this all together. It is that casting. It's not the RLC casting. And now we have this one in red. Detailing on the back, detailing on the front. The, the chrome 10 spokes are fantastic. Get the window trim as well. This is, again, like the Mercedes, it's just a great family of cars that is forming. That is a total winner, too. But let's talk about the true star of this mix. It is the 73 Volvo 142 GL. It is a new casting um, done by Mark Jones. It's so down his alley. We'll talk about that in a second. And then we have the Chase. Chases are in black. And this, you know, the Mercedes black series was black wheels, black rims. Um, I guess all of them have been. Have they all been that? I think they have. Was the Corvette too? I think it is. This one just takes on, because of its low profile, just a menacing look. We'll open that up in a second. But before we do, two angles you can take on this. I'm going to take both, actually. One is Volvo. That's an easy one. I, I thought about pulling out the basics. We're going to stick with premium. Volvo's just all of a sudden just gone nuts. Now, this is the third premium Volvo casting that I, I'm thinking. I, you know, we have some in, in, in basic, like the drift wagon. But we have uh, this wagon. This is the uh, Amazon Estate. Started in green in the wagon mix from a few years ago, uh, which looks really cool. And they, it really seems like the companion piece to the, uh, to the 142 GL, right? I don't know what year the Amazon was, but it seems like it's got to be similar. And then we have the... Uh, Second color, I brought that out too. Again, like the Mercedes, it's like a modern take on a classic wagon. Nice and clean once again with the, uh, with the five-spoke rims to modernize it just a tad. And this is a racing version. This one where you can see the, the roll cage pretty prominently on the yellow. And then we have this one. I'm, I, I always think I'm missing something. Maybe I am. I don't think I am. Hopefully we see this one in premium again. It's really It's resided mainly in basic. It's the 850 estate. Uh, but I really like this version in yellow with the five spokes. Classic car with the modern rims. Always thought that one was really, really nice. So we have some really cool Volvos. Now the 142, based on the its stance and its look, it may be, and its, no, its lack of bumpers, it may be the winner here. So the Chase is awesome. It has its own look. But I don't know if you can get past how cool the teal color is on the 142 GL. 
Actually, I told you I was going to do two angles, so why don't we go back to the second angle I was going to take. Unique Mark Jones cars. That's what I really wanted to focus on. You got the Volvos, and they definitely fit, especially the, the Amazon wagon is a Mark Jones design. But I want you to think about going back even before car culture. I've mentioned that this is one of my favorites, the Ford Supervan. There's a theme that has been kind of forming with Mark Jones, which is European unique race cars. Now, I'm going to stretch that into Australia. You'll know why here in a second. But Mark, with the JDM, with the Euro cars, the, you know, the BMWs and everything, Mark has been able to kind of go off to the fringes of this and create an incredible family of cars. And I just wanted to focus on that very quickly. Supervan, that is a unique UK car with the GT40 engine. We've talked about it before. I've talked about it all the time. Just recently, the Alfa Romeo is one of these that he's done. You could probably put that, you could, you could run it with that theme because we've seen a lot of these type of cars coming out. And, um, and the Alfa Romeo is a really, really cool one. But I, I put that in that kind of family of stuff that we've seen from Mark Jones. Um, just recently in the last mix of Boulevard, second to last mix, we saw the Pantera. Unique cars that you don't see all the time. This is Mark, this has Mark Jones written all over it. How about the uh, Jag? E-Type is a common car, but Mark decided to do the lightweight E-Type, which is really cool. A little bit more rare, a little bit more unique. I can just keep going. Another Alfa Romeo. The Stradelli. Stradali. Beautiful lines. He loves the cars with those unique lines. This one fits perfectly. One of the prettiest cars out there. We saw that from Mark. We've seen that twice. How about the Lancia? We've seen a couple of Lanchas, but this one again, unique lines, interesting cars, head turners for sure. Some people might think they're ugly. Some people might think they're gorgeous. I love cars like that. And obviously Mark does too. That's why we see this Lancia. And then I think from Boulevard, I already showed you the Pantera, but we know what's happening in Australia. Folks are going nuts for this one, for the Holden Monero. They knew it when uh, he teased it during the pandemic. And now that it's come out, it has just been, there has been nothing that people have been more excited about than this car in Australia. And it's neat to see that shout out to Australia with this classic car. And I think, you know, only Mark Jones at this point is going to be the one that says we need to do it. And he did it. And then I've talked about this in the last Boulevard video, but this Rover, another one that you don't expect to see. And I hope that this helps people gain an appreciation for certain cars that, uh, that maybe they haven't, uh, they haven't recognized or had paid any much attention to in the past. This happens with me all the time. You, it's pretty clear. I'm no expert on cars, but I learn. I get these castings. I end up file, falling into these deep holes, looking at these cars and learning about them. And then it lends me to another one, another one. That's what happened with my obsession with funny cars of late. But I love how these cars introduce you to things. Maybe that's the theme here. Cars that I learned something about because Mark Jones designed them. Is that a good theme? All right, let's get to this Volvo. There's your teal color. I don't know if it's Mark Jones. I did a slam this thing. I love that it's slammed. I love that it's sitting on the chrome six spokes. It just looks different. It just looks cool. I think it caters to a very modern aesthetic, but it also throws back to a classic, very cool car. I just love what they're doing with Volvo um, on these cars. No bumpers, clean. I, I think it's the color and the chrome rims that really do it for me on that model i've liked it since it was introduced or since it was uh since it was uh, unveiled now that i have it in person i it might be one of my favorites of the year i'm gonna have to really consider that when i do the lamley awards and this chase it just changes the look entirely right black on black but again the lowered look the bumper delete the way the chrome stands or the uh the grill stands out in the front and the tail lights in the back just an amazing, amazing model. I do like the chases just for the unique. I know they're hard to get, um, but uh, I've liked what they've done with the chases. I think they're. I think they've done a cool take on it, different from Super Treasure Hunts, and this Volvo definitely falls in that category. There you go. You guys, tell me what you think. Let that airplane fly over. 
I think this mix is amazing. The Lamborghini, whoo, that's a big swing and a miss in my view, but they're, but all the rest are home runs and uh, this Volvo Grand Slam. Grand Slam by two. You guys tell me your favorite. You like that theme? You like that Mark Jones theme? You like what he's doing? I do. Thanks, everybody. Bye.